Guys, you, you literally will not believe this. Look at this. I just came out here to shut the lights off. And look what I see. The freaking pike cichlid has one of the baby Cynodonis catfish in his mouth. And he's got him backwards. That's the bad part about it. Look at this. This is freaking insane. I never would have expected this from this guy because the Cynodonis is actually pretty decent size now. And um, this is absolutely crazy. And I actually just fed him a few hours ago. So this was the last thing I was expecting out of him today. But look at that. That is just unbelievable. I cannot believe what I'm watching right now. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. He has him backwards in his mouth. So what I'm going to try to do is actually pull him out the water and take the Cynodonis out of the mouth. The Cynodonis is still alive. I can still see him breathing. So I'm going to set the camera up and try to pull him out the water and uh, hopefully save both of these guys because there's no way he's going to be able to eat them like that with the fins going down backwards. So I'm going to set the camera up and uh, I'm going to see what I can do. Oh my gosh, this is freaking crazy. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely insane. Look at this freaking behemoth, what he's done. Oh, he just shook him loose. Okay. All right. We're good, we're good, we're good. So they're both pretty freaked out. There's the pike right there. I think he's going to be just fine. But unfortunately, I don't think the Cynodonis is going to be okay. Uh, his tail is pretty beaten up. I'm not sure how long he had him in his mouth. And uh, honestly, I'm not even sure how in the heck this happened. So unfortunately, there's nothing that I can really do for the Cynodonis. Uh, I know that some of you are not going to be too happy with me with, you know, not taking him out of the tank and trying to help him out and all that. But like I said, there's nothing that I can really do for him. Pike Sigglers are crazy. I mean, that's all I can say. They will literally try to eat anything that they can fit inside their mouth. And honestly, it probably wouldn't have killed both of them because with the way the Cynodonis was, his fins probably would have gotten stuck in the Pike Sigglers throat. When fish eat other fish, they try to eat them head first. That way the fins will actually lay down when they swallow them but gosh man that's that's crazy so i'm gonna sit out for a few more minutes just kind of watch everything make sure everything else is all right and uh you know hopefully maybe just maybe the synodonis will be all right but like i said i don't i don't think he is Alrighty, dude. So uh, it's now the next day, and uh, the pike is doing just fine. And I actually did take the Cynodonis catfish out of the tank last night, a few minutes after I start recording. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't make it. Uh, like I said, there was nothing that I could really do for him. But this is the kind of stuff that happens when you do keep, you know, predatory fish. But let me just say, I was not expecting that at all. There is the pike right there. He is doing just fine. He's already back up here, ready to eat the next day. Now, if you look really, really closely near his jaw, it looks like there's a little bit of red spot on both sides of his mouth. And uh, that could have been from the Cynodonis fins kind of poking them in the mouth. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it does look to be some type of little red marking on both sides of his mouth, but I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But as you can see, he is doing just fine. So like I said last night, pike cichlids are crazy, and they will literally try to eat anything that they can fit inside of their mouth. Uh, but let me just say, like I said, I was not expecting that at all. Especially with it being a catfish, I was definitely not expecting that. And like I said, if I hadn't come in here when I did, it probably would end up killing both of them, because one, he was just too big for them, and with the pectoral fins on the catfish, that just would not have worked out. And secondly, he was swallowing him backwards so yeah that just would not have worked out so at least i was able to save the pike but you know when i first put this pike cichlid in this tank i would have never expected him to go after one of these catfish that's the biggest one right there and that's the second biggest one right there and you know the other guy he was small but he wasn't like tiny tiny and i was just not expecting that at all but once again that's part of keeping predatory fish you can't really ever predict them so if you have a pike cichlid or you're thinking about getting a pike cichlid just make sure that you put them with fish that are either their size or bigger and that are also pretty aggressive the fish or you know bigger catfish this was not a planned video at all i mean how could it be planned anyways but i literally just came out here last night to shut the lights off and i look in the tank and i see that so i run in there grab the camera and uh, that's the part where you know you guys start seeing what's going on i'm going to take this as a learning experience and make sure that i don't put any fish in the tank with the pike cichlid that are smaller than him because um that's probably just going to happen again and uh yeah that's pretty much it for now so with that being said i will catch you guys in the next video peace